Hey guys, it's Ash here, and I'm coming at you with a Demotic Princess Peach makeup tutorial. The story begins as Peach was minding her own business, cute as ever if I do say so myself, while Bowser conjured up a clever plan to not only kidnap Peach as per usual, he decided to cast her under a spell to turn her against Mario and kill him. Bowser placed a locket around her neck that sucked up her innocent, loving soul and turned her into a hideous, cold-hearted creature that was brainwashed to kill Mario with her own bare hands instead of loving him. Should Mario decide will love prevail? Does he kill the one he loves or does the one he loves kill him? Stay tuned to find out. To start, I primed my face with Hard Candy Sheer Dark Spot Corrector Primer. Then I created a furrowed brow by using fake flesh and liquid latex to have skin stick to my already there brows. They kinda look like gummy worms, don't they? <laughs> now you'll never look at gummy worms the same. You're welcome. So I made sure to smooth out all the edges to give me a nice transition between skin and the demon-esque brow. Make sure you smooth out the brows to the bridge of your nose, that's what really is going to make it have that demonic look. Next I apply my foundation all over my face, including those brows, then I pat on my powder to really mattify the look and stop the brows from glazing. I applied my eye primer and started getting into the eyes for Peach using Heart Candy's Tint Shadow Palette and Smoked Out. All these Heart Candy products that I'm using are found exclusively at Walmart. Basically, I created a really intense smoky eye and really deepened my natural crease to make my eyes look extra hooded. Highlight and then use the same black shadow to shade under the brows to give them dimension and not look so flat. Now we'll start roughly drawing out your brows and wrinkles and don't forget to blend those creases out to make them look a little more natural. Line your tight line with a black pencil and your lower lash line with a white pencil extending past where your eyelashes would hit under your eyes. And apply some black shadow to the fake waterline you just created and add some falsies to the top lashes and lower lashes along again that faux lash line. And the lashes on the bottom are from Benefit called Big Spender. Then I use some liquid liner to connect my tear ducts together. And for my demon horns, I actually made these from ice cream eraser tops and I just colored them in with a red prisma color marker and in black along the swirly creases and then apply them to my face with some liquid latex. Then we go back to really define your wrinkles and features to look more like a demon and less like a confused unicorn. Make sure you blend all your wrinkles, like I mentioned earlier, and then for that nose, I scrunch it up to see where my natural wrinkles would be if I snarled, and then define those nostrils to look more sinister. I added a highlight to my nose, middle of my forehead, and around some of those wrinkles to give them some definition. I applied Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in Backstage Bambi on my lips and applied a highlight to the Cupid's bow. And that's it, the Demonic Princess Peach tutorial is complete. And just like any Mario game out there comes the epic battle between life and death. Mario believed he did not have to kill Peach, but rather save her and banish Bowser together forever. Or do they? <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for sticking around to the end of this video. This was so much fun for me to put together, so I really hope that you enjoyed it as well. And if you want to see more videos like this, then totally thumbs it up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see a new video every day in the month of February. Also, if you want to follow me, you can, because all of my social links will be in the down bar below. And I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!